Well, I just want to begin I, maybe easily. I don't know, but this is such a fascinating and creative story. Would you talk about the germ for it, the inspiration for this story? Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a semi -auto, semi autobiographical story. Um, yeah. So really, the seed of it comes from experience, mm. uh, and. Um, just uh, from being motivated from people around me who inspired so many of the other characters in the movie. Uh, and um, just living life and then having enough distance from it to be able to distill it into a, a, a film. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. And so it's so creative. Um, something that it touches on a great deal is uh, the kind of cruelty and um, ridiculousness of bureaucracy uh, and it affects Alejandro in one way very, very deeply. And then of course you have Elizabeth who is affected by bureaucracy as well, but handles it differently yeah. uh, as a wealthy white lady. And you know, this is actually Alejandro's life that is at stake. Uh, would you talk about kind of showing the juxtaposition of how, you know, this the paperwork, the kind of insanity of corporations affects people in different ways. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that what is maddening about bureaucracy is that it, um, it reduces people to a number, right? It reduces people to a problem. Um, and uh, it, it strips us out of our uniqueness and our individuality and our our life experience and our and our our value and um and then we 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 have to follow rules that are made uh to gatekeep yeah. <laughs> and uh um and so much of bureaucracy is roadblocks uh on the way to a goal saying turn away turn away um and uh I think that Alejandro is goes about it in a very like observant, quiet, diligent way. Mm -hmm. uh, and Elizabeth, in her way, she says, no, I am not uh, case number 728. I am this person and I, I am going to be your biggest problem and I am going to make the most noise yeah. and I'm going to get it my way. And yeah. um, and I think that she uh, she makes herself known and she states she puts her flag in whatever environment she is. And she says, uh, I am here. And that is something that um, Alejandro doesn't have. Right. And I mean, a part of that is by virtue of her being wealthy and being a white woman as well. So, sure. I, yeah. Um, I, I have to admit, I was watching the movie and watching her on the phone with people and I'm like, oh God, that's me sometimes. <laughs> so it really, it shined a light on me when I'm like feeling oppressed by corporations. <laughs> so. Well, you know, and it's, uh, uh, first of all, that's not just you, that's me, that's everyone, right? Like, cause it's like, I, th I think that we are driven crazy by these systems and like yeah. in the editing process, one thing that I felt really, really strongly about was that when particularly that scene where she's like yelling at customer service, mm -hmm. I felt very strongly that we should show the human on the other end of the call. Yeah. So that we could get catch a glimpse into that life. Mm -hmm. uh, because again, bureaucracy um, erases our humanity, but it erases it in both ways. It erases not only the person struggling to get something done, but the person who became a soldier. And uh, and that to me, I'm, I'm very, very, very mindful of, I, I'm very, very pro of showing as many faces as I can. Mm -hmm. And um, I, that is why the movie actually has so many actors in it because every waiter, every cashier, every teller mm -hmm. has, in my mind, a whole life. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, 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 I weirdly thought about it watching uh, the late, 
is I don't know why I'm even bringing this up, but the latest Top Gun movie, oh, uh, okay. uh, where I I was interested by the fact that you never see the faces of any of the enemy soldiers. Mm-hmm. They're yeah. always they're always like wearing a helmet or shot from like really far away. Uh, and that is because I guess the movie doesn't want you to feel for them. Right. Dehumanizing uh, them. Right. And like, I, I think that what I, what I aspire to do is to make work as empathetic as I possibly can. Yeah. I Wonderful. Well, thank you. And that kind of leads me into um, the fact that the film has queer and trans actors in it, some queer characters. Yeah. And it's just a part of the fabric of the film. There's no meal made of it, but it is also important to show those faces. And especially we're at this time where uh, queer lives are being erased. And would you talk just a bit about doing this so naturally? And this is what life looks like for queer people that we just exist, uh, but it is important to see it. and. Would you talk about that piece of the film? Yeah, I mean, I, to be perfectly honest, there was nothing calculating about it. I think that this mm -hmm. is the result of what happens when you get different kinds of people to make movies and when you allow those people to work with the people they want to work with. Yes. Uh, the reason so many of the people in the movie are queer is because most of them are my friends. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and well, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I hire the people that I know and that I like. Uh, so, so yeah, it's like you have galleries and, and tellers and waiters and roommates and, uh, and, and un annoying people and great people and good people and bad people. And they're all like, yeah, it's all different shit. And like, and that's also just life in New York city. Right. Right. Uh, I do have to wrap soon, but I wanted to ask you about you cast uh, or you know, start opposite the great Tilda Swinton. Would you yeah. talk a little bit about working with Tilda Swinton? I mean, what what was there's so many amazing things I could say about Tilda Swinton because she's one of the most amazing people I know. But um, the thing that stood out to me is that it was not intimidating. Mm -hmm. it, it she really felt like she was another one of these friends that I'm talking about. Yeah. Like she really felt like, like, uh, uh, like, oh, this is a new friend I discovered, and uh, and we're just playing around in the same way that I that I play around with my other friends.